All right, guys, I want to put a disclaimer before I start building anything on this building. I am not a professional. I never claim to be a professional. I will never be a professional. I may do things that are wrong. I may do things that are right. As long as I'm happy, I'll be all right, all right, all right. actually sounded pretty good but anyways I'm gonna try to seal up around all these windows now uh, that'll be my first project I am gonna start wearing some gloves because water is limited out here and I don't have to constantly wash my hands so it is what it is I'm not just being a little sissy boy trying to not get my hands dirty but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start sealing some of this stuff up um, I do have spray foam in the can I also have just regular uh, sealant for like windows and stuff like that so I'm just gonna use the regular uh, sealant and uh, hold off on the spray foam for all the eaves Yes, I'll end up going and spray foaming the whole building later on, but for now, I'm just using what I have at the moment. So I'm gonna start sealing up these windows. Let's get to work. So, I'm not professional. I'm sure there's better ways to do a lot of this stuff, but I bought a lot of this uh, sealant here, so I'm just gonna fill in every crack as much as possible. This stuff's not too expensive, so I'd rather overdo this stuff than leave it as is. And not every uh, window has this big of a gap on it. Some of them are really tight and some of them have a little bit of gap. So I'll use some more on others. I'll have to go back in and clean up the edge of the window, but it's definitely filling in that gap, that's for sure. That's all I care about. This side's not nearly as uh, big of a gap as the other. Plus these buildings are not actual homes, they're built like sheds, so you gotta do extra work to uh, make them livable. Unless you pay them to do the entire thing, which I didn't want them to. I want to be able to do all this stuff. Low and slow wins the race. Sorry if I'm yelling, I have fans on, so I'm trying to make sure y'all can hear me. Now it says this is supposed to be clear, but it looks kind of white to me, so maybe it'll dry clear. Yeah, it looks like a, basically I got my, my first window sealed in. This was the smallest one, my bathroom. Uh, we'll have to grab a ladder to be able to do some of the dormer windows and stuff up top But I'm just gonna move around just work my way around. I'll probably leave the doors as is for now Since I'm still gonna replace them. I want to probably replace them before I try to seal anything on those but uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna work my way around and uh, Get this place sealed up
Yes, I'm taking water breaks. It's hot. I think it's supposed to be like 102, 103 today. Looked at the uh, future forecast and it's not looking good. It's going to be about 100. And, I think the hottest it says was 111. I'm not exaggerating. That's what it shows on my phone. Can't make that stuff up. So I'm trying to get this place sealed up as much as possible and uh, at least all around the windows and stuff like I mentioned. And then uh, just try to make it as comfortable as possible. I do have a box fan in here. I had the doors wide open, all the windows open. Uh, it's it's hot, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm used to this kind of weather out here. And uh, like I said, I'm not gonna kill myself trying to get this stuff done. So if I need to bring in my portable AC unit and stuff, shut the windows and just see if it'll cool it down just here, I will. But for now, take a little quick water break and then we'll continue around and finish up all these windows. All right, so I got the main floor windows done. Uh, the only windows left are the uh, dormer ones up top. I gotta get a ladder for that, but once again, I am uh, gonna leave the doors alone for now until I replace them, but I did get all the windows. I think I have five three by five windows, one three by three and one two by three window. I have them all sealed up now. Uh, I'm gonna come back here in probably about an hour or so, check on them, uh, see if it actually dries clear. I bought clear stuff, right now it's white, but it does seem like it will end up drying clear, so. Uh, I'm going to give it some time to dry up. I'll go back and touch up some spots if I need to. But for now, all my windows are done and I'm very, very happy. Not a lot of room to work with as far as putting this uh, ceiling in here. All right, guys, so I got two of them done now. You can just see just drenched with sweat already. It's, uh, I think today's supposed to be, I think about 104 outside and up top right next to the uh, ceiling. It's very toasty up there, but I'm getting things done. I only have two of these windows left to do. Uh, I don't know if you heard me up there or not, but I said this is a, uh, not the most fun process, but it needs to be done. I want to make sure uh, that it's sealed completely on the inside. They've already sealed the outside. And then uh, with these, uh, the windows up top, let me see if I can turn you up there real quick. So these four transom windows up here are not the double thermopane like the rest of the windows. Uh, they do have little gaps in the sides, which I'm going back and filling it in with the sealer. I've already done two, I just got two left. And then uh, all the windows will be sealed up on the inside. They've already sealed them up on the outside. I'm just taking extra precautions. Uh, I can already see from where I did it earlier that it's already turned clear. So it does go on a white color and then it dries clear. So I just got the last two and they'll be ready to rock and roll on the next project. All right, so I just finished sealing up all the windows, uh, the dormers. It took quite a bit up there. There were pretty decent sized gaps around the windows, but I got them all filled in now. The next thing to do is uh, I bought a whole bunch of these uh, canned spray foam over here. I'm gonna use that just in the eaves. I'm probably gonna start right above the dormer. I think I bought roughly, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, about 16 cans. So I'm hoping that I can use maybe eight on each side and uh, fill in all the eaves. I'm going to go back with uh, actual spray foam and do the rest of the building later on. But for now, I just want to get all the eaves filled in. I did that down in Texas on the uh, tiny house, the 10 by 12. And uh, Matt and I put in the pink insulation and it seemed like just putting in like all the eaves and stuff with the spray foam came and talked. Uh, just by putting in the spray foam up on the eaves, it seemed like it helped out. So I'm going to do that again here and then I'll go back later on and spray foam the whole building. So I'm going to stop talking. Let's get back to work. All right, guys, now we're up here in the dormer. Ooh, I don't like being on ladders, but it needs to be done. This is a section I'm talking about right above the dormer windows. I'm gonna come in with the spray foam. Just let that settle in. Let it expand. If I need to go back and fill in more, I will, but this is just to help out with some of the heat.
already went through one can for uh, almost the entire dormer. Luckily, the stuff's not too expensive. So uh, I'm just going to keep going, and if I need to buy more, I'll buy more. Plus, I'll need to go back and probably fill in a couple extra spots that I missed. So I got the first layer of the uh, foam on. I'm gonna go back here in a second and once I cool off and uh, finish it off. I don't know if you can see behind me. Just a little bit on that side. This side over here I put a little bit more, which you can see all the yellow. I'm gonna have to go back and add just a little bit more. I still have probably about seven cans left. So I used roughly half of what I bought so far, uh, which seems like it might work out perfect now. But uh, I'm sure there's probably carpenters and builders and stuff like that that are rolling over in their grave watching me do this but i don't know this is what i had and uh, it seemed to work for me before so i'm just going to do it again and uh, like i mentioned i will get a whole spray foam kit spray foam everything once i put all the electrical and stuff in so uh, this is just one step to help secure uh, from letting air in and letting air out of the building as well uh, it is hot i'm definitely taking water breaks i know there'll be a lot of people commenting to Make sure you take breaks, make sure you drink a lot of water. I am, I have that water dispenser over there. Realistically, I probably work, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or so, and then I'll take a break and drink some water, cool off for a second, and then I'll go back at it again. So basically I'm gonna let this dry for another 10 minutes or set, whatever you wanna call it, and then uh, I'll go back and put the rest of it on. All right, so I'm pretty honest on my channel. I wanted to uh, basically test out two different spray cans, and uh, this one by far, the great stuff, window and door, and the blue can blows this one out of the water. This one is absolute garbage. It does foam up good, but it takes forever to spray it out. It'll spray real good for about five seconds and then pretty much stop. So this one right here, I would definitely recommend anybody getting this one over this brand. This one I got from Walmart, just a, I don't know what kind of brand it is. It says insulating foam, big gaps and cracks. Uh, I just would not get this one right here, garbage. Get this one, people. All right, so I had to come outside, get a little bit of a breather. Uh, the wind, it's kind of starting to pick up a little bit, which feels good out here, but it is still 100 plus. Uh, I finished spray foaming all the eaves up on top of the dormer. Uh, one thing I'm not gonna do is move all my stuff in. I'm still gonna use the trailer as storage for now uh, for clothes and other stuff like that. Maybe uh, I'll probably bring the mini fridge out sometime soon. I have a little table set up back behind me. You can see over here in the kitchen. And then I'll bring my power banks over here because I need that to charge up all the tools, fans. Uh, I bought a TV back here. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but I was watching Roseanne last night. Uh, I haven't had cable TV since I uh, moved out of my parents' place, and that's been pff, a long, long time ago. So I just use a, we call it rabbit ears or just a regular antenna to pick up local channels. So at least I have some kind of uh, entertainment uh, out here in the actual shed. The service is uh, pretty much non-existent. Uh, it's very hard for me to get service on my phone. Out in the camper, it was hit or miss, uh, but over here it's a little bit worse, unfortunately. But I do have a WeBoost system that I'm gonna try to set up over here at some point and see if it'll help boost the signal on my cell phone. But uh, other than that, I'm just gonna take a break for a little while and then uh, we'll see what else we can get into. All right, I decided that's gonna be the end of the video. Uh, I feel like I've uh, done quite a bit for this video. As far as uh, sealing up all the windows, the uh, transom windows up top on the dormer, also spray foam and all the eaves. Uh, just keep in mind, I am gonna go back and spray foam the entire building with an actual kit. 
uh, I am a beginner. I'm an amateur at building, so keep it easy on me in the comments. Um, I am open to uh, constructive feedback, but just remember, uh, I'm just doing this uh, for the most part by myself. I'll have Jason help me out throughout the project as well, but uh, I am an amateur and I'm learning as I go. So as long as I'm happy in the end of the, at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. And I would hope that you guys would be happy for me instead of uh, trying to bash me, tell me what I'm doing wrong. So uh, anyways, I got a lot of stuff going on outside of this build as well. Still maintaining 60 acres. I think you guys are really going to enjoy my next video. It's going to be a lot of woodworking. I'm going to try to start skirting the bottom of the house over here, building shutters for the windows, and then also working on an accent piece here on the front of the building. So hopefully uh, the building will start changing and look more like a house and less like a shed. So anyways, uh, stick around for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.